guys, Brittany Michaels, and today I have my husband. Say hi. Hi. This is Kirk. I am Brittany. You guys already know me. So I thought I'd come over here, not come over here, come on here and do the how we met tag. So go ahead, honey, tell them how we met. Um. <laughs> well, okay, so basically how we met since this one wants to be shy. Um, I had signed up for In Shape. Um, I'm not sure if it's just around California. Is it in California? Mm -hmm. It's just in California. Um, and he, I didn't know he was working there at the time. Uh, I thought he was just going there to the gym because I see him almost every night, basically. So I had signed up and I was trying to get my body back because I was looking kind of nasty and I wanted to get in shape. So my friend had brought me in and said, hey, you know, you should join in shape. So I was like, okay, whatever, I'll fucking join. I regret it because, well, not, not this, but the amount that I had to pay for that shit. So, um, but yeah, I regret that part. So yeah, I was going to the gym, you know, and when I go, you know, listen to my music, I like to dance on the elliptical or whatever I was doing. So I would constantly dance on the elliptical, you know, jam for whatever I'm doing, do my little booty shake. And each time I do that, this one <laughs> would come by and just smile and look at me and I just go, hey, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Check him out too while he checked me out while I was shaking. I know he was checking out my booty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> he was checking out my booty. So, um, what day was that? I think I was doing the pull down latch and you came over and you messed with it, right? The ropes. The ropes. I was doing the ropes and he came by and he did something stupid, something yeah. corny. He just kind of like grabbed it. Did you say something to me? Uh, I don't remember that far. I don't know if I, I said don't know something. if he said something to me. If he did, it would have been like, hey, or nothing at all, you know. But I know he did kind of just do the, do something when I was doing the, the hand rope thing. You guys know what that is. It's kind of like you're climbing. That's what it was. So that happened, and we'd have small interaction, just saying hi, and that's it. But, right? Pretty much. Pretty much, and then it got to a point where I was getting tired of paying the amount, so I took a break from the gym for about, I think, two or three months? Two weeks. Was it two weeks? No. Like it was like two months. Oh. 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 It was that long? Yeah, no, it was like two months. So I had stopped going for ten months, and then to avoid canceling my membership, I just put a hold on my membership, and I would just pay ten dollars a month. So I did that for about, maybe it was just like a month or a month and a half. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was too long. So I had did that and we both, for some reason, well there was no reason, we obviously were trying to have interaction with someone. We both had a Plenty of Fish account, POF y'all, yeah. So we both had a POF account and I had not gone on that account for like almost six months. And I'm not sure about him, he was probably already just, I think you had just made your account, you said. Yeah. I think he had recently made his account or something like that. Hey, you guys, his fucking name, Italian stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, his name was Italian Stallion, but he had this really nice picture up. <laughs> so, I got on, and when I first logged on, no kidding you guys, my first glance, I saw this dude's picture. I didn't say anything. But I'm guessing he saw me, and he messaged me, and he goes and says, Hey, where have you been? And I'm like, oh, you know, I took some time off. He's like, you should come back to the gym. So um, I was like, you know what, I don't know, maybe. He's like, no, you should. And then I gave him my number so he did, so I could delete my account, because that was also part of the reason why I got back on, because I wanted to browse a little bit and then delete the account. So I gave him my number, first fucking mistake. <laughs> so I gave him my number and then um, after that we had just started talking from there this kid right well I shouldn't say this kid this man right here is different from most men like he actually took the time to call me and didn't fucking text me 
He called me. Look. Most men don't fucking do that. You know? Am I right or am I wrong? But yeah, he was a gentleman and actually gave me a phone call instead of sending me a fucking text message. And he's not like most other people when it comes to texting. He doesn't use slang. He actually spells a fucking word out. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. He, yeah. So we're talking and I eventually go back to the gym. And I think from there we started talking more and working out together. And um, then comes what I think a week or two later, our first date. Perfect first date, you guys. I kid you not. We went hiking. That shit was fun. Uh, we went to one of the nearby hiking trails and went to this little tiny crave. Did I say crave? Yeah. Little tiny cave, you guys. So that was our date number one. And then date number two, which was May 12th. Mm -hmm. We went to the drive in. Yeah. We did dinner in the drive in. She felt sweet. Shut the do you remember what movie we saw? Spider-Man. No. You're close to the man part. Iron Man. There you go. Yeah, I yeah I fell asleep on the hood of the car. We sat outside because we went to the drive-ins, so I we sat on the uh, hood of the car. And I have pictures of those. I'll try and find those and post it on here of what we looked like during our first date. Well, not our first date. Sorry, our second date at the drive-ins. Um, and then our third date, so the second date was actually our official, like making it like us official, like yeah, we're in a fucking relationship, you're my man, I'm your girl, we, we all locked down, we doing this together, you know. So the third date we did was a cute little picnic. We did, I think we did bacon wrap hot dogs, grilled chicken, and some fruit. We did that and went to this other little hiking trail, uh, that wasn't too far from us and just had a picnic over there and it was really really nice and like from there on we went through a whole lot a whole lot like with other things that were going on around us but we, we stuck through it together and we're here now we're here now married for two years have a year and a half old daughter we've been together for what about four years been together for four years married for two and then have a year and a half old daughter yeah yep. so well, honey you were supposed to be telling the story you better you want to <laughs> tell them how we got pregnant how we got pregnant yeah how we had aurora you stop trying <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you guys, that was how my husband and I met. Um, I don't know why he wants to act shy. I guess he just doesn't want to be on camera. I'm not good in front of cameras. With his rough ass beard. Yeah. Yeah. So he wouldn't have done this if I wouldn't have done anything for him. So it was kind of like a favor for favor. So I had to pull him from what he was doing before. So he has to get going. So I will see you guys next time. And this mofo will be in another video with me, best believe. Maybe. There's no maybe. There's a definite, you guys. It's Britney, so, bitch. See you guys next time. Bye.